Today, we are reviewing this amazing trauma and general surgery book, Top Knife by Hirschberg and Maddox. And I'm gonna give away this copy right here. It's brand new, not scribbled in, ready to go. Find out how right now. Welcome back to Citizen Surgeon. My name is Dr. Eric Pearson. I'm a pediatric surgeon. And at Citizen Surgeon, we scale education, get you comfortable on the wards, in the ICU, and of course, in the operating room and on your exams. Today, something a little different. We're going to do a surgery book review, and then I'm going to give it away. Now, how am I going to give it away? Well, I am going to randomly pick one of you who fills out the form on this link right here. You can also find it in the description below. Just fill out that form and you'll be entered for this giveaway. Now, one of the rules of the giveaway, unfortunately right now I haven't figured out exactly how to ship and do these legally international. So you do have to be in the United States to be eligible for this book giveaway. Uh, so do that, click on that link, go ahead, go in the description, find the link there, fill that out and you'll be Signed up as part of our community, find out when new videos, new content's coming out, and of course, be entered to win this book, okay? Which I think is like the best book, especially for any senior resident in general surgery or any practicing general surgeon or, of course, trauma surgeons. And I'm going to tell you why right now. Top Knife is a book that was recommended to me when I was a second year resident. And I immediately went on, got the copy of the book, and started reading it. And I was blown away at all of the real-time, genuine, authentic recommendations that you can find in here. So whenever I look at a book, the first thing I like to think about is, all right, well, who is this book for? This book is for everybody interested in surgery because it's so much fun to read. If I was a medical student interested in surgery and I had this book, I would, I would be totally pumped. I'd be even more interested in surgery because Maddox and Hirschberg, so Hirschberg is from Sunny Downstate and Maddox is from Baylor College, okay? So two really strong and amazing trauma centers. They talk about real life experience. They talk about teamwork in the operating room to take care of, fix, find solutions for critically ill trauma patients. And they give a how-to manual of sorts. And so I put a bunch of sticky notes in here on places in the book that I thought would be good to share with you in this review. And then, you know, if you like it, go ahead and pick up a copy. I'll put a link to the book, of course, in the description below if you're not one of the ones selected. Now, for the giveaway, I'm gonna give it two weeks. So today is the 21st of May, so we're gonna give it two weeks from now. So where does the first sticky note leaves us? Well, you should know how this book is organized and it's built in different sections. And the first section is really tools of the trade. And the authors go through and they, they build up this idea of the trauma patient as a problem and all of the tools in your toolkit to provide a solution. And that is not just the surgeon, but the whole team. Also getting into critical and straightforward points about how to get vascular control simply without causing too much adjacent damage, too much collateral damage. So the first part is tools of the trade. Then it gets into the abdomen, okay, whether we are doing blunt abdominal trauma or penetrating abdominal trauma, the abdomen is probably the most common body cavity that the trauma surgeon is operating in to save somebody's life. So how do we start out? We start out with a crash laparotomy. The authors talk about how you should really be getting into the abdomen with three swipes of a knife and one educated finger, okay? After that, talks about the hollow organs, okay? So what are some safe ways to repair a bowel injury? What do we do if we have an extra peritoneal rectal injury? Where are the sites of missed injuries? That's one of the sticky notes I had right here. And so for missed injuries, 
looking at the esophagogastric junction, look around the ligament and trites, areas of the duodenum. These are clearly outlined and give you this blueprint. So if you are doing that laparotomy and you are searching for areas of injury, this book is kind of telling you where to look. And one sticky note that I jumped over, uh, this was in the second chapter, Stop the Bleeding, it really goes nicely into how important the team is in a critically injured patient. So the all of these illustrations are really straightforward, really clear. They stick with you, and I love that. Another chapter in section two on the abdomen is chapter six, and that is on the liver. And so what is the title of this chapter? I love it. The Injured Liver, the Ninja Master, all right? So bad liver injury can cause substantial bleeding. And if we don't have a stepwise way that we can get control of that bleeding, we're going to have a dead patient. And through this chapter, you know, I love even the beginning. He outlines this quote from Field Marshal Helmuth von Moltke. And he says, no battle plan survives the first five minutes of contact with the enemy. You know, it reminds me of that uh, quote by Mike Tyson. You know, you have a plan until you get punched in the mouth or something like that, right? So dealing with the liver in trauma is a lot like that. You go in with a plan and then all of a sudden you're at option B, option C, option D. Well illustrated, the authors go through how to deal with injured lobes of the liver, how to deal with the fractured liver, how to think about retrohepatic bleeding. I mean, it's just so good. This is something that I read quite often at, you know, at least once a year, but more than that. Uh, the next sticky note, you know, I skipped over quite a few because every chapter is absolute gold. You know, I love this chapter right here, chapter eight, called The Wounded Surgical Soul. You know, that's when we get into that zone one retroperitoneal bleeding. And they talk about what are the keys to the Maddox maneuver? What are the keys to the Catal Brash maneuver? These things are well illustrated. How a zone one retroperitoneal hematoma will do the dissection for you. And then it's important to get back there, expose these great vessels quickly so that we can repair them. And that's where this chapter gets in, chapter nine, talking about big red and big blue, all right? And that is the abdominal vascular trauma. And the introduction to this chapter, which I love, is actually the operative note from Lee Harvey Oswald in Parkland Memorial Hospital in November 24th, 1963. And it's a great introduction to this chapter on aortic and cable injuries. Later on in the book, we have chapter 10, Double Jeopardy, looking at thoracoabdominal injuries. Let's say you have a gunshot to the right upper flank, and that could be in the chest, it could be in the abdomen. How do you know which cavity to start with? And what is going to be your procedure? How are you going to make some decisions? In that chapter, they go through all of that. I mean, it's total gold. And thinking about thoracoabdominal injuries, one of the things I marked right here was the anterolateral thoracotomy made easy, all right? You think about, you know, surgery for dummies or something like that. This is one of those very clear, both illustrated and by text, how do we approach an anterolateral thoracotomy? When do we do it and what are the moves? Because as you go through your surgical training, this is something that can be life-saving in somebody that loses their pulse after both penetrating and blunt injury. So you gotta know those steps of an anterolateral thoracotomy. And here, it's made easy. All right, well, what's the last thing I got marked here? Well, the last thing is one of my favorite chapters, and it's one that comes up a lot on exams, and it's something that we really need to have a process for. And that is chapter 14, the neck, safari in tiger country right? Because the neck is tiger country. You have the airway, you have the esophagus, you got the carotid and jugular artery and vein, you have nerves. I mean, there's a lot going on in the neck. And so if we have a gunshot to the neck or a stab wound to the neck, what are we going to do? You know, even the beginning of the chapter, I love how they outline follow a trail of safety in neck exploration. So we're opening the sternocleidomastoid, we're identifying the internal jugular vein. We're following 
to the facial vein, and then we're getting to the carotid artery. We have a trail of safety. So this book is full of gold, okay? It's uh, Top Knife by Maddox and Hirschberg. This is something that I think the junior resident or medical student should read to inspire. And I think the more senior resident, the fellow and the attending surgeon should be reading annually to keep themselves updated with the very basic principles of operative trauma. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. As you can tell, I'd give this book five stars out of five, 10 stars out of 10, however big the rating was, that's what I would do. And if you like this, give it a share, give it a like, leave a comment below. I think um, whoever gets this book is really gonna enjoy it. And I like the idea of doing the surgery textbook or surgery book reviews. If there's a book that you'd like reviewed and you'd like me to give it away, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it because I'm only going to review those books that I think are top notch because those are the only books that I think are worth giving away. All right. So as always, stay safe, study hard. I'll see you next time.